I've done a lot of benchmark videos on this channel and I've got asked dozens of times what I use to benchmark servers. This answer is simple. Foronix Test Suite. In this video, I'll show you how you can get it set up and how to interpret these results so you can benchmark servers just like me. Foronix Test Suite is free software that can be downloaded for Linux, macOS and Windows. On Linux, you need to download, decompress, navigate to directory and run install-sh installation script. On Windows, it's kinda the same thing, but you need to run other installation script called install.bat. On macOS, yeah, you get an idea, just different installation script. Installation takes just a couple of seconds and we can go straight into benchmarks. But maybe first, let's learn a couple of comments. We start with foronix test suit then comment we want to run, and then extra argument. Most of the times you can skip install comment and you can just use benchmark comment. If something is missing, it will be downloaded and installed. So what exactly we can benchmark? Basically everything. Go to openbenchmarking.org website where you can find all tests available. If you would like to test all of them, that would take a little long, like a couple of weeks. So of course, choose ones that are meaningful to you. For example, if you want to compare web hosting performance of two servers, you can try Nginx or Apache test. Let's choose Nginx test. Here you can see full command that you need to copy and paste into terminal on machine that you want to benchmark. This Nginx benchmark requires setting up extra parameter, connection number. If you don't know how much you should choose, go back to Nginx page on open benchmarking and scroll down. Here you can see which option is the most popular and the most popular will give you meaningful results that you can compare. You can also find some public results of different processors, but be aware that these are coming from bare metal dedicated servers, not VPSs with shared CPU. So if you have like $5 VPS, expect it to be comparable to the worst results on that page. Go back into terminal, let's run this benchmark. Foronix Test Suite will ask you if you would like to save this result and it can be helpful if you want to have it saved to the file. But if test result output in terminal is good enough for you, then just skip it like I'm doing right now. After benchmark is done, now you can see your result and know how it compares to variety of different CPUs. I love this benchmark because it does multiple runs depending on deviation. If deviations are high, then it will benchmark it more times until results become more stable. In the end, this number that you will get is something that you can trust to compare performance of different servers or different operating systems on the same hardware. Now I want to explain how to debug these benchmarks, because sometimes they fail. I hope this part of video will be useless for you, but sadly it is quite common to have some benchmark fail. In a recent operating system benchmark video that I've done, I had problem with Fedora 38. It didn't want to do one of the tests. By using Foronix test suit, debug run, name of benchmark, you will get extra file that shows in detail what is wrong. In my case, find bin for Perl was missing, so I've installed all Perl packages by just using yum install Perl and issue was fixed. I hope that this video was useful for you and now you can save your money by using hardware and the operating systems that performs the best for you. That's all for today, have a nice day.